ahead. I want to talk about Queensland tourism because every time I have a look at the Cairns Post, uh, they are talking constantly about stimulus needed for uh, uh, North Queensland tourism. I know there's sort of a, always a bit of a potential battle between state and federal government. Can I just ask you this really simple question? Do we have to spend money to get the message through to people, hey, go visit Queensland? Do we have to go to social media people who were there to raise money for fires and say, hey, why not show how awesome it is to go and hang out on Hamilton Island? Um, because to me, it feels like this isn't just a let's spend money on billboards. It's a combination, Paul, and my criticism of Queensland tourism in recent years is we've fallen for this trap about this one-size-fits-all, homogenous campaign designed and operated out of Brisbane. Uh, the best thing you can do is empower individual regions to promote their point of difference into the areas that they believe it'll be most effective. And that creates a good bit of competitive tension. Now, I'm not suggesting that the idea of one brand, a, a Queensland brand, isn't important, but you do need to have each region to be able to market their point of difference. Mm. We also need to refresh our offering. We need to look at the ways that we uh, attract airlines to, to increase their throughput into our uh, uh, airports. There's a million things that need to be done. Uh, but right now, in answer to your question, yes, we do need to market the socks off what we've got because times are very grim for tourism in what should be the premier state uh, for its offering. Yeah, I reckon all of these governments should take $5 million they're going to spend on, uh, on billboards and just go into an alternative capital city and give away $5 million worth of tickets. Actually physically get people to go. 